guys, welcome back to Amira. Today we're gonna be playing Minecraft again. We haven't played Minecraft in a while, so I decided to get back to it. It's been like a month or two. I don't know, it's been a really long time. But in other news, I did change my keyboard. I had this one before, okay? And this one kept freaking messing up and it wasn't it would it would uh stop working and then in the middle of my playing it would stop working and it was a terrible thing and then you know I just it, it's a great keyboard. It's cute and it makes cool noises, but it then yeah. But anyways, now I got this keyboard right here. See, this is a pro gamer keyboard. This one was a whopping ten dollars, right? And it's got a freaking rainbow on it. So yeah. Anyway, so we got a new keyboard and hopefully it works and it's actually more quiet too. But let's play Minecraft. Alright, so I don't even know where I left off. Oh, I remember. That's the last time I played. The last time I played, I was, uh, I, uh, made, I, I filled Paul's house up with llamas. So now I'm back, and I feel like he's probably done something to me, and actually, I know he's done something to me, because I was looking at the comments on my video, and somebody, somebody on my YouTube video, uh, their name is Ari Bell, and they said, be careful, because Paul put a giant sheep over my house and filled it with TNT. So, yeah, okay, uh, thank you for telling me that. I think it's a giant sheep in my house, that's what he did. <laughs> I gotta get rid of the sheep, so I'm thinking, I'm gonna get the sheep, or actually I haven't even seen it yet, but I'm gonna go and see what's going on there. And they said it's filled with TNT, so I decided, why don't I get that TNT and relocate it to, you know, his house and somewhere else, but I have to be more clever, because I can't just make like a giant cat on top of his house or whatever he likes. So I gotta figure out something good. Yep, there it is. There you guys see <laughs> the freaking giant sheep up there. Oh, what is, is the sign here? Here is a gift because I really enjoyed the llama war. I hope you like it. And there's a lever. And there's a giant sheep. I think you could have done a much better job on the sheep with design wise. I think it could have been much better. Yeah, this sheep has like this giant tail with redstone going to it and white. What is this? <laughs> you know, I was about to press this lever right now because I completely forgot that it was the TNT sheep. Let's see. Oh, there's the TNT. We gotta gut this sheep. Paul did put a giant sheep over my house filled with TNT. So we will have to do something about this, guys. We can't just let Paul win, okay? So I'm going to, I'm gonna clean this up. It's just so easy to, Take it. This feels like I'm in creative. Okay, I think I cleaned it all up, guys. I got all the TNT. So I turned this. I got this switch. Now let's see. All right, it looks like it worked. I just wanted to take a little risk there. I thought it'd be funny if like something still exploded. Okay, so it looks like my house is still good. Um, I'm gonna clean all this up, but now we gotta figure. I'll, I'll do that later. We gotta figure out what we're gonna do to Paul next because he freaking put a giant sheep on my house. Uh uh uh. We can't have that happening. So what is it like? I could put. A giant cat on his house filled with TNT. I think that would be a little too obvious. I think we need to make something really clever and really good that he won't recognize. Okay, guys, after some really intense thinking and working, I decided what I'm going to do and for, you know, to get back at Paul. I'm going to use all this TNT plus some string, some hooks, and some pressure plates. Get what I mean? Do you guys get the memo? I'm going to go to Paul's village, and I'm going to put a bunch of booby traps everywhere, guys. I'm talking, I'm going to go to his wheat field, and I'm going to put TNT under and put, like, pressure plates, and I'm going to put, like, strings with tripwire and booby traps. It's going to be hilarious, but first, I got to get all the supplies for it. Okay, first things first, I'm going to make my tripwire, so I'm going to need iron. I'm pretty sure I've got iron down here. Aha! Uh -huh. I got some iron, and it is barely any. I have four. I'll make two sets of them because I don't think I want to do too many of the tripwire. I've never really done it, so I'm going to have to figure it out. All right, we're going to make a bunch of those. And then I am going to try out everything in Paul's place right now and then see how that goes. And then I will make more stuff afterwards. Okay, we go up here. This is the tricky part because I keep forgetting where I'm... Why is there so much sheep? Okay, I keep forgetting where I'm supposed to go. Here? <laughs> I'm lost. I'm lost in my own place. Oh my gosh, where is it? Oh, here it is. I found the, I found the secret entrance. Alright, let me clean this back up. Go up this thing and ta da! We're here! Right in Paul's house. What is he doing? Why does he have a bunch of blue and pink sheep? Well, specifically, why does he have blue and pink sheep? Why? Uh, this is this is inhumane. So I'm gonna go ahead and let them out. I'm gonna let them go. They deserve to be free. No. 
I'm gonna put a bunch of booby traps. I can't do that. <laughs> They're gonna blow up. So what I'm thinking is I'm gonna put a pressure plate around here so that when he's going here and he's like getting his wheat, like a bunch of wheat, you know, to make his bread, he just like steps over and explodes. So I'm gonna do that. So we'll do it right here. So when he's like going, he'll be like, do, 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 do. And then he'll step on the pressure plate that's right here, which will uh, trigger a bump, which I don't know how to do yet. So I'm gonna do a little test somewhere. Should I do it in this cave? Okay, guys, I'm going through. Uh, it worked! It worked perfectly! <laughs> and I got my pressure plate back! Okay, cool. Great. That is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna put a bunch of TNT things and it'll be hilarious because you can barely even see them. Okay, so we will put... This is making me feel bad because I hate destroying things. But like, he was about to destroy my entire house and it really sucks that I'm gonna destroy a bunch of plants, but you know, like... <laughs> Guys, I made an uh-oh. It works. This is going terrible so far, guys. Is there a creeper in there? Oh my gosh. No, come on. I already blew up this part. <laughs> now to fix what I destroyed. Let's go. Okay, all good to go. Now we just take one of these out like I did before. So we are going to put the TNT right here. And then we will be putting the dirt right here. And then I will put that there and I will leave because I'm gonna mess it up again. I'm gonna put another one right here. That way when he runs, he can be like, what the heck? And then he comes in this one and he does it again. No! <laughs> Why was it so big? You know, I think the only person getting trolled here is me. It's ridiculous. Trolling me out of my dirt. Dirt is not dirt cheap. I'm basically about to make Paul's entire village into a minefield. Did I put a pressure plate over it? Did I forget? No, 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 no. Great, this is working out. Okay, now we gotta do this one. Pressure plate there and do not touch Mira because you will die, okay? And uh, I think that should be good. Once it grows, I don't think he's gonna be able to see it and then he'll just like go through it really quick. We can also do it right here. Maybe when he gets out of his house, like from here to there. I just have to put like something really quick. I don't think that he will notice. I'll just put like a grass block. There should be a tiny one. I don't think he'll notice. He'll be like, why is there two blocks here? And then bam. Now, I also don't know how to use this. I've never done this before either. So, am I doing this wrong? <laughs> is this how you're supposed to do it? Oh my gosh. I don't know how to do it, guys. I think I have to look it up or something because I don't know. How do I not know how to do this? You know, we're gonna work on more mines and then I will go and try and figure that out. I think that I'm just gonna put a bunch everywhere. That way when he's just walking around, it's literally just gonna be mines. It's just mines. So I'm thinking of putting it in the paths because uh, that way I can use these oak ones that I think will match, will be the best matching. We'll put one right here and I will put the pressure plates at the end. That way little Mira, little clumsy Mira doesn't come and set them all off. <laughs> so I will do that. We'll put one here. There we go. And then we'll put one here. What is going on in this place? What if I put one here? If I had stone, I could totally put one right here and yeah. Oh, they all do that. I just gotta go make it. What is going on here? There's a picture of me and then this thing? It's weird. I'm going to go see if Paul has any oak wood because I need some oak wood to make those oak wood pressure plates. <laughs> just borrowing from Paul so that I can also bother him. <laughs> I really hope this works. I think it will. It's pretty, it's pretty sneaky, I think. Oh, you know what I could do? I could put a uh, bone meal and then there will be grass everywhere and then maybe it will cover it up. Usually when he comes out here, he comes and he probably looks at his sheep, so that's good. And then he'll probably come over here and, and look at, uh, you know, his Paco thing he's got going on here. And then, so maybe I'll put one here, wood stone. And then maybe go over here to just go somewhere. And then there's one right there, there's one right there. Then he probably goes to the outside. He gets on his horse. I don't want to hurt a horse. I need to get some stone so that I can make some stone pressure plates. That way I can really mess with him. There we go, perfect. <laughs> it's literally perfect. This giant tall one and then he'll just like, dude, this is perfect. I love this. Okay, I'm gonna put it there. Uh, hopefully I don't uh, fool myself. 
Okay. Oh, I need to make some stone. We'll wait for that to become stone, and then we'll add some more stuff. He'll probably be mad at me and then start coming to my house. Oh, I need to put a sign for him. I can't forget the sign. Okay, so while the stone was cooking, I took it upon myself to learn how the trip wires work, and I looked at a nine-year-old video because apparently everybody knows how trip wires work now, and there's no need for a new video. So yeah. Anyways, I figured it out, and I even tested it on my phone so that I wouldn't destroy anything here. I was already assuming that he's gonna be inside his house and he's gonna come out and it's gonna explode, but I don't know where he is, so he could he could be coming. So. It'll work any either way, I think. I uh, will also add some grass around. I think that will also help. So we'll do that too. But anyways, um, also signs. So I put signs last time because it's pretty funny to put signs. So I'm thinking I'm gonna put some in here that say like, I'm sorry, Paul, just as a joke. And we'll put, ta-da. Okay, so I put that one there. Uh, I'm, if he stays, if he if he spawns in here, I don't know where he is, but if he spawns in here, he's just gonna think like, oh, she's saying sorry, and then he'll go. BAM! And if he's out here, then it's gonna BAM! Anyways, I think it'll work anyway. I'm gonna just put a bunch of I'm sorry Pauls around. It seems kind of funny to do that. <laughs> we'll put one over here. Go like that. My bad. See, that's funny. I don't know why, but that's funny to me. Okay, all right, that's good. And then uh, I have a few more pressure plates put, and I'll put that chip part, and that will be all done. And uh, Paul won't see what's coming at him. It's gonna be funny, just like a minefield. That'd be hilarious. So, I wanted one over here where he like has this guard tower. I think that would be funny. Right here. We should be having more stuff in your toolbar. Okay. Then we'll add the cobblestone. I was about to put the pressure plates. Oh, I can't put it because of the letter. I'll just remove the letter. I don't think I'll notice. There we go. Perfect. Now I'll go to the letter and it'll just step with that and it'll. All right. We'll also put one over here for a uh, for if he comes over here to do whatever he does. And this one will be perfect because it is stone already, and it will match perfectly. Look at that. You can't even see it. You can see it a little bit. But Paul doesn't pay attention too much, honestly. Like he really doesn't pay attention. So he just goes everywhere. It doesn't matter. So you can honestly trick him pretty easily. I think. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank goodness I slipped. Okay. I wanted to put one there too. Maybe more. I think this is good. And I'm done with that. Now I'll just add these ones that I added. Okay, I think I'm all done. I did it. Is there one over here as well? I feel like maybe I should make a really big, big explosion. Okay, so for this one, uh, I'm gonna add it right here. I don't wanna destroy his house. I don't like destroying houses much really so i'm just gonna add two because i'm nice so for this one i'm going to add the trip wires and i figured it out well i mean i looked it up actually i'm gonna add there and there we go perfect okay then that will be grassy you know what's funny is that i'm the one who's putting these right so like i should know already that they're there but like i'm almost pressing these by myself in accident knowing that they're there so like that means that hopefully paul knowing that they aren't there and that he's like not even paying attention he shouldn't know anything right he should be, it should be pretty good so i'm going to put grass over there i just realized oh this is perfect if he's if, if i'm correct he will be angry <laughs> that I did this and he'll be like, he'll leave, he'll want to leave, so he'll leave from there or he'll leave from like on his horse and jump over somehow. So I'm thinking I should put like a gigantic pressure plate or like thing tripwire to the entrance of my village. That way, you know, when he comes, he just destroys everything. I just hope he's not riding his horse. I should make a minefield here. I should totally make a minefield here. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna just, I'll just take his horse. That way he doesn't have a horse to, to go on. That way he doesn't hurt the horse. So we'll be around here. This is gonna destroy part of my land, but I'm okay with it. No, you know what? We'll do it in the middle. I think the middle will be fine. I have 18 more blocks. Let's do this. Okay, so what I'm thinking is I don't need to add that many uh, pressure plates because once one TNT gets set off, then all the other ones will, and it, I think it'll be fine. Okay, I think I need to take a nap really quick wait for it to daytime but i am going to go and kill this uh 
skeletons because I didn't need it to make the grass for the booby traps. My house is the one with the giant sheep on it. Pop thought he was trolling me, but he was really just making it easier for me to find my own house because I get lost frequently. Can villagers using my house as a hotel? This is not Motel 6. Okay, I need to find more skeletons because I need more bones. Oh, there's a skeleton under the tree. Skeleton under the tree. That should be, that would be a cool like lamp or like a decoration of a skeleton under a tree. I gotta 3D print that. Skeleton under a tree. Oh my. <laughs> I think the skeleton just killed a villager. <laughs> Almost done with it. I just need to make some more pressure plates and then we'll be done. I don't think he'll go from here. So I'm going to leave it. Oh no, you know, I need this to be big. So we'll, we'll continue. I don't even have enough TNT, so I'm going to spread them all out. Okay, let's fill this baby up. No, 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 I went over my own trip thing again. Oh man, it works. How am I supposed to fix this? Better get to work, guys. <laughs> this is gonna take a really long time. I'm not a very good troll, am I, guys? I'm like really bad. Oh my gosh. All right, let's go. I'm just gonna do this really like fast. All right, guys, I finally finished it. Um, I, it, it, it doesn't look great. I know it doesn't look the, the most natural, but I did try and put a slope right here. This is where it, the, the last part was now. And then this is everything that I built, as you can see right there. And it's starting to grow back the grass, but I, I think it will grow back all the way by the time Paul gets here. So now that that's all done, now I gotta actually figure out how to get the TNT in there. And I did, Kill a bunch of creepers and I got a whopping four more TNT, so now I have ten instead of six. Okay, so I have to try and figure out how to make the TNT so that I can, you know, get it to be right here. I guess I'm gonna have to make like a wall right there. Okay, so I at least I know that my method worked perfectly fine. I'm gonna have to really spread it out as well. One there. Do not touch a mirror. Okay. One there. I must admit, maybe maybe this made it faster to do because I was taking quite a while. <laughs> there. Things do. I cannot do this again. Please don't do this again. <sighs> I'm giving myself heart attacks right now. It had to be the one that I was literally just standing on. Really, that one was supposed to have a grass on top of it, but I'm too lazy to fix it now. So. Just put up. Oh, I, I gotta be careful with these pressure plates. Like, I really do. Like, it's a problem. Why am I so bad at it? There we go. Add that there. This is like, if he doesn't do this, then I'm going to go over this one day. I'm going to be the one that gets tricked. I need to get Paul's horse over here. Okay. Before I finish that. Okay, I, I think I almost did the uh, battlefield. I just have to add those pressure plates that I'll be adding afterwards once I'm finally, finally done because I don't want to go through that. I'll get this horse and I will take it to safety to my place. And he can stay in a stable. So I'm pretty sure I have stables. Go. And he's nice and safe. Safe from me, safe from Paul, safe from everybody. Okay, I just gotta put these last three pressure plates down and then I will be all done. And I'll get Paul back. Even though I got myself back two times already. Okay, and it is finished. No Man's Land is finished. It, you can see them a little bit, but I think it's pretty much covered. It's, it's very, very well covered, especially for somebody who doesn't know that it's there. I'm going to go into this side really quick and just kind of add that. And I will be leaving before one of those zombies blows up because I really do not want that to happen. Okay, guys, I finally finished. There's a zombie outside my house. I'm going downstairs. That was really stressful work, really. Like, I had to redo two things. Like, why can't I just learn? did not go on the freaking pressure plate. Like, it's just ridiculous. But anyways, I did it, guys. I really hope it catches him by surprise. I think I'll at least go on some of them, like two of them. I think the wheat one and the one right in front of his house, I think he'll go into. I'm not sure about the everything else, but I really hope he also goes to no man's land because that's that would be really funny. Anyways, that is it. Uh, I just successfully, well, not successfully yet, but I trolled Paul halfway. Now we'll see if it really works. But anyways, that's it. I love you guys so much. I really hope I see you next time. Bye.